1869 for this small rack of ribs. I could eat this by myself. Hello friends, today we're back at Meyer. A lot of you guys wanted to know what the meat prices were around here. I know we saw that $30 T-bone the last time. I got a lot of comments on that. So I figured, you know, instead of a lot of the things that are missing today, we're gonna focus mostly on the meat because you guys wanna know, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna check out the prices, maybe compare a little bit to Kroger. Let's check it out. Okay, so as we can see here, they have plenty of ground turkey. They got these hamburgers which you get four hamburgers here for 582 not too bad i guess one thing they're uh, pretty low on their hamburger uh, really low i don't know if they just haven't packed it up yet who knows these days 549 a pound though i'm sorry but huh, that's a little high for me so to give you guys an idea me and jess would get these three pounds um that's 2.64 pounds for 13.17. We were getting this. This would be like three pounds would be like uh, seven or eight dollars, and we can see how much that has shot up. Now this is good quality meat. I will say Myers, you know, it does have better quality meat than most. I would say this is very low, though. I mean, I don't know if they just got ransacked over the weekend, but usually this whole case is full right here. And all, all this is usually full. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I was talking with a lady and someone that works here, and he said that the ground round has actually gone down. I disagree. Um, this isn't a lot of meat for $8 here. Uh, we were getting three, four pounds for uh, somewhere between like eight, nine, maybe 10. I know it's slowly been going up, but it, it, it looks like it's Looks like it's really gone up here in the last week. They do have a sale on the roast. Buy one, get one, 40% off. But look at these prices, guys. I mean, 2307, 749 a pound for roast. I don't know, man, that's pretty high. I hate to admit it, but it actually looks worse than it did when we came here the other day. They're spreading things out pretty pretty far here um, here's the steak which looks a lot less 748 for the ground sirloin that's only one pound though that's sirloin now I don't mind the chuck eye uh, but that's you know even this has kind of gone up 979 for two pieces of chuck eye the meat looks good though I gotta say it does look good but uh, yeah, these roasts, well, the reason they're doing 40% off if you buy one, because you're buying one for the price we could get two for. Beef loin, $10 for one steak. Now I'm telling you this right now, I do have a guy that I go to, uh, he works at a meat market, and I mean, that's about the price you're gonna pay with them for uh, the New York uh, strip steak. But you're getting it from a butcher and you're, you know, Helping out locals. I guess some people are actually buying the ribeyes and stuff though. But look at this. This is a small ribeye. Not even a pound for $13. Top sirloin, $8.35. This may be, you know, I mean, what we get in the future here. I mean, remember sirloin was what? You could get this for 3 or $4 a year ago. It's, it's just skyrocketed. I mean, this is a cheap meat here. This is a cheap quality meat, which I would cut up and maybe put in a vegetable soup or something. But for eight bucks, it's like I can pay seven dollars and already have it cut up. Okay, so if you watch my last video, you will see the sale they had was two ninety nine a pound on the ribs down here. It has gone up in one week, even with the sale, to five twenty nine a pound. That's that's unacceptable. I will not buy ribs here. I can go to. Uh, Texas Roadhouse and have it all made and have all the fixings and spend less than that. Also, I just noticed they're saying that this is a sale. Regular price, $6.89 a pound. Are you kidding me? So the best deal I've seen so far are these sausage links. Two for four dollars. These are very good. I will say they are really good. Um, Two dollars for a pack for those is not bad at all. You just gotta look for the deals and when you find them, if you got a deep freezer or something, you might want to freeze them when you can get it. It's when you find a deal like this. Pork loin, assorted chops for $1.49. But as you can see, 
They have one left. If we had room in our freezer, I would buy this. $9.28, that's a great deal for all these pork chops. I gotta say, this is pretty crazy. They have a mega pack of bacon, which isn't really a mega pack if you ask me, which are doing this buy one, get one 40% off again. But look at this price, $11.99. So really, you get two of these and one for 40%, you're paying what it would be maybe almost three times worth for two packs. So, you know, I don't know, I hate this because bacon's my favorite thing. They do have the thick cut bacon for $9.49, which is extreme also. And that's Oscar Mayer, that's cheap brand, right? Now I do get this black label bacon. It's gone up to, or no, this is actually on sale. $7.79, now this is just a regular pack. Um, 12 ounces, so that's that's not much. That'll last maybe two breakfasts. Uh, you know, and there's some off brands I've never heard of for $6.49, it does say reduced on here so that's probably a decent sale but i don't know i mean it's like all this stuff is going way up bacon's going through the roof i know you guys were commenting saying bacon's like ten dollars uh one of you guys said it was like fifteen dollars for a pack of bacon where you live we'll say myers has good chicken they really do they have good chicken brand dollar 99 a pound is still a little high we were paying less than this but it is high quality. I would definitely take this over like Tyson or something. It's way better. Myers brand chicken is really good. And the price is very comparable. A little cheaper than we saw Tyson at Kroger yesterday. Minus the stuff that's on sale. This is a little extreme. $5.43 for these thin chicken breasts here. I was on the other side. The pre-cooked breakfast stuff is behind me. But I wanted to show you guys. Two chicken breasts for $5.50 is, I don't know. It's all going up, guys. We're just gonna have to grin and bear it. From what we saw at Kroger yesterday, these little chickens, uh, that's a pretty decent price. We saw the ones at Kroger, uh, I believe they were $9.99, or I think some of the more expensive brands were $11.99. So that's, that's an okay deal. Real quick here, I wanna show you guys Oscar Mayer hot dogs. They have them on sale two for seven, normally $4.39. That's crazy. I mean, I remember not long ago, you could get these for $1.99. And that's that's double almost. I mean, $3.50, you know, if you eat a lot of hot dogs, that might not be a bad deal for you. Now, I do feel like ballparks have always been a little more expensive because they're better. But two for five, that's not a bad deal. Very but. disturbing with some of these meat prices. Now, we are, you know, we're learning from this that, you know, it's been going up so fast that I haven't really noticed too much from the last time that we shopped. A lot of you all had pointed that out in my last video that I did admire uh, that the meat prices looked like they were ridiculously high. Well, you were right. We had seen that prices were going up a couple weeks ago when we bought that hamburger. We thought it was an amazing deal. We got three pounds for like seven or eight dollars, which that was the normal like a year ago and now to see it you know a little less than three pounds for 10 11 12 13 dollars it just seems like it's going to keep going up so the only thing that i would say is that if you're finding a deal i know some people are more stocked than others around the country around the world so some of these little things that you love like you had like to add to your meals and stuff yes when you find a sale i would buy it and freeze it um, that seems to be the way to go. I did not like how the ribs had gone from $2.99 a pound to $5.29 a pound, which are still saying that's a sale. Uh, you know, if it's gonna be $6.89 a pound, well, that's too expensive for me. Why would I spend $20 on a steak that I have to cook and prepare and all that stuff when I could go down the road to Longhorn or Texas Roadhouse and spend 20, 21, 22 dollars on an entire meal. First of the month, today's November 1st. So I was expecting when I went to Meyer to see a bunch of deals, they, they were out of a lot of stuff. I was there at about one o'clock and they hadn't had any of that. I don't know if they have the meat to stock. I didn't ask, I didn't want to bother anybody. I was really hoping that I would have some great news uh, with Meyer. You know, it didn't look as bad last week. It looks kind of wiped out, especially in the meat department this week. I'm a little like, you know, maybe people are buying it up, that could be, but 
I don't know, it's the first of the month. That, that should be completely stopped. So we're gonna keep checking out some stores. We're gonna look at some more prices, see what we can find that are some great deals. Hopefully help save you guys some gas money so you don't waste your time. Thank you so much for watching the video. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure is out there. Thank you.